Hey everyone, my name is Ender, and welcome to the wonderful world of Apothecary. In this update, Nerd Kingdom launched their first round of brewable potions for their Apothecary system, and I'm going to teach you how to make them all, so let's get started. You're going to need a fire pit and a pumpkin cauldron as your brewing station. The fire pit takes a flat rock, three chopped wood, and two hammer rocks to craft, but I'm pretty sure you already knew that. And next is the pumpkin cauldron, which takes three wood shafts, two vines, and a pumpkin shell. Place the pumpkin cauldron above the fire and not above the flat rock. If you do, you might accidentally If the fire on your fire pit dies out, your cauldron becomes inactive. So in order to keep brewing your potions, you gotta maintain your fire's life. For breaking down certain ingredients like wood branches or animal teeth, you'll need a flat rock and a hammer rock. Last is the gourd flask. You're gonna need to break down a gourd fruit at a crafting bench and throw in some vines. Now let's move on to potions. Keep in mind that all potions use gourd flasks, so for the sake of not sounding repetitive, I'm not going to mention them. First up is the health potion, which recovers all of your health upon use. The main ingredient for this potion is seeds. It doesn't matter which kind, making this the most versatile potion in the game as of right now. Next is the speed potion. When used, it increases your overall speed for a short amount of time. And the main ingredient here is an orange mushroom chunk. The growth potion is next. Using this potion will increase the rate at which your crops grow. Its main ingredient is bone powder. Then comes the fuel potion. This one restores all of your fuel when used. The main ingredient for this is tooth powder. Lastly, we have the durability potion. This one fully repairs any tool or weapon it's used on, and its main ingredient is wood chips. All the potions have a durability, so that means you can use them more than once. Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope this guide helped. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, my name is Ender, and my favorite color is blue.